And now, folks, the 6,200-pound 4x4 modified trucks. Up number one out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky, driving Mad Dog, here's Aaron Mobley. From St. Louis, Missouri, driving Red Hot, here's Gary Saline. And out of Thompson, Missouri, the hungry heartbeat, Terry Hagedorn. From Vincennes, Indiana, driving the Dutton Farms entry, Charles Dutton. From nearby Salem, Indiana, driving Spellbound, Jared Chastan. And from Lancaster, Ohio, driving the Lost in the 50s, Stacy Sneed. Out of Latitz, Pennsylvania, driving the hardcore Chevrolet, here's Dan Savage. From, pa from Pataskala, Ohio, driving the Bandit, here's Roger Crawford. And out of Versailles, Kentucky, driving the Renegade, here's Galen Young. From Louisville, Kentucky, driving Nightlife, Buddy Jean. From Pocahontas, Illinois, driving the Southern Bell, Gerald Emmon. From Centralia, Missouri, in the bad attitude, Robert Jackson. And out of Winchester, Virginia, driving the Three Bears pulling team Chevrolet, here's Robert Smith, but Scott there this afternoon, Scott Smith. Out of Sharsboro, North Carolina, driving Risky Business, here's Carl Staples. From Springfield, Missouri, with the Intimidator, Lem Friday. And from Elizabethtown, Kentucky, with the Rampage, here's Harry Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our 6,200-pound superstock, uh, uh, four-wheel drive superstock drivers a nice round of applause. To the announcer stand for message, please. Mike Wright. So here we go with Mad Dog right now on the line. The Mad Dog Ford of Aaron Mobley out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. A nice round of applause. How about it, Ford fans? Aaron Mobley out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky, the Mad Dog. St. Louis, Missouri, driving the Red Hot Ford. And this guy pulls all over the country, folks. This is a darn good running Ford, and he's got a good chance to move right up in the top there today. The red hot Ford of Gary Saline. And Gary's driving a 1987 Ford out of St. Louis, Missouri. Now Ford Ranger on the line here with a big shotgun Ford sitting right in the old front end there, I'll tell you. Big old 429 Hemi. We'd like to recognize the group from Pleasant Hill, Illinois, home of Old Faithful. Sections 313, 30, 336, 337, 12 visitors. Steve Hamlin's been here every year since the pool started in section 337. We welcome you. Good hook here for that Ford. Real nice run for Gary Saline. And the Red Hot, the Saline Farms Ford out of St. Louis, Missouri. And we'll have the official distance here in just a few moments. 0.79, 226.79 for Gary Sellin in the Red Hot.
four-wheel drives were of the Ford variety, the, the test pull, and then this first run here by uh, Gary Selling. Looks like we got a Chevrolet up there. How about it, Chevy fans? All right, here we go now. The Hagedorn machine on the line from Thompson, Missouri. The Hungry Heartbeat. Yes, siree. And your leader, of course, Gary Saline in the red-hot Ford has taken the lead here. But Chevrolet out to try to win here today. We have last year's winner here also with us this afternoon. He'll be coming up shortly. Okay, the course is clear, and he'll be launching that big, bad Chevrolet. Whoa, good run. 1995 NTPA points champ right there. The heartbeat Chevrolet. How about it, Chevrolet people? Let's give him a nice round of applause. Oh, yeah. The heartbeat Chevrolet. Terry Hagdorn out of Thompson, Missouri, and the Hungry Heartbeat completing his pull. We'll get the official distance here as it is being uh, brought over by the officials. 232.66. 232.66. So, so far, the Chevrolet has pulled the furthest. We've got a lot more to go yet. Ford. This is Aaron Mobley out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. All right, Chevrolet leading. Here comes Ford now. Back to the starting line. Mad Dog. And Aaron Mobley was able to cool fast. And let's see what happens. He goes back to the left side of the track with that Mad Dog Ford sponsored by Danville Tire. Shoney's in Danville and Coca-Cola. And we get ready to go now with the Aaron Mobley machine. On deck will be Charlie Dutton in the Dutton Farm Chevrolet. He's the only guy here this afternoon with a small block motor coming up against all these big blocks. And we'll have to watch and see what happens to him. I've been corrected. We're looking at 750 cubic inches now, Dutton has. Man, something broke right in the front end of the, of the truck. And the suspension or frame, I think, let go. Actually, part of the front end suspension let go on the machine. And Aaron Mobley comes to a screeching halt right there. And a little bit looks of frustration on him. But apparently the, either the front axle or part of the suspension let go for Mobley. And uh, we'll try to walk over there and see if we can find out just exactly what did happen to the Mad Dog. Hey, folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, Aaron Mobley? And tough luck here this afternoon. The Ford breaks here at Louisville. Aaron doesn't have a clue, he says. He has no idea as to what happened to the truck. And, uh, you know, he had a good run going, and all of a sudden she just let go on him. The Mad Dog. Okay, in the distance on uh, Aaron Mobley's Mad Dog was a 142.07. 142.07. Before that truck began uh, hopping up and down somewhat and then developing problems. 
14207. Charles Dutton up next. Vincennes, Indiana's Dutton Farms. This guy got involved with truck pulling several years ago. He uh, was he used to be a drag racer. He had an E-modified production Camaro, and he used to run down at Evansville all the time. He went to a truck pull and got hooked, and he ran super stock for many years, and so did his wife. They had a two-team team on the old TNT circuit years ago. And now he ran small blocks all last summer up against these guys. Somebody tells me now he's put 715 cubes under the hood. So we've got a Mountain Motor Chevrolet sitting down there, ready to go. 715 cubic inches of Chevrolet on the line here. So let's see what happens with the Dutton Farms Child's Play on the starting line right here. Truck number four this afternoon in competition. All right, let's see if that suspension can take care of 715 cubic inches. That's a lot of motor under that hood. And he broke right there. And she broke right on the starting line. Whoa. Well, apparently not. Everything evidently is okay. He's going to try it again. Are we going to hook him or disconnect him or what? They're looking at the suspension over down there and see if everything's okay. Ernie Diggs, our tech man, looking it over real closely to find out what he broke, if he broke anything at all. We're going to push him back. All right, let's tighten him back up. Evidently, there was a problem with a chain, folks. So evidently, there's no problem with the truck at all. Let's see what happens now. But child's play, and Charlie Dutton. And still bouncing, folks. Now, with Lost in the 50s, these guys are, uh, they own a restaurant up in uh, Lancaster, Ohio. His dad, Alan, does a lot of the driving, but Stacy has now taken over the chores from dad, as happens to so many of uh, people as the children get older. So here we go with Lost in the 50s on the starting line right here. Stacy Sneed. Stacy Sneed out of Lancaster, Ohio, the lost in the 50s Chevrolet. And we'll get the official distance here in just a few moments. 215.20 for Stacy Sneed. Well, they apparently had some trouble getting spellbound started. But now it looks like she's ready to go. Here is your defending champion right here, last year's winner. He... Well, folks, here's last year's winner on the starting line right now, the defending champion in four-wheel drive modified here at Louisville. Out of Salem, Indiana, we present Jared Chastine and Spellbound 
on the line ready to come at you here. Engine by Tom Jaboyan. And the question is, can this young man repeat two years in a row with Spellbound? This truck's won every other major championship with U.S. Hot Rod and a lot of the others. Let's see what he does. And right there. Hey, Spellbound. All right, Chevrolet people, let him know you appreciate him. How about it? Let's give him a nice round of applause. Chevrolet folks. Hey, good run for Spellbound here this afternoon. Okay, and the official distance for Jared Chaston is a 236.27. Uh, 236.27. Two, two, so far, that's the number one pull. All right, 236.27. That's the new distance here. We may be going to set a line for a pull-off, though. We'll wait and find out for sure what they're going to set it at. Well, next up we have Dan Savage out of Lidditz. Pennsylvania driving the hardcore Chevrolet. Well, from Latif, Pennsylvania. Dan Savage out of Lidditz, Pennsylvania, the hardcore Chevrolet. And we'll get the official distance here in just a few moments. We'd like to welcome the fine folks from Manchester FFA from North Manchester, Indiana. 39 folks here this afternoon. Welcome to the tractor pulls. Well, the Chasteens would like to thank Charlie Dutton. Charlie Dutton, uh, the set, the, they tried to fire their engine this morning. They blew the starter nose off of it. They uh, fired it again. They borrowed one from Charlie Dutton, and it fired it. This time it blew it off again. But they want to thank Charlie for helping them make the program, even though Charlie broke. The part of that truck's left them survive here this afternoon. Okay, in the... Renegade up next, out of Versailles, Kentucky, Galen Young, the driver. Test, one, two, test. Test, one, two. Well, here's Galen Young. Galen's only been pulling a couple of years. This is the old uh, Aaron Mobley Chevrolet. He bought it from Aaron and uh, has redone the truck and been pulling. Pulled well here last year. Pulled on some of the major circuits. Let's see what he does now as he comes to the line. The Renegade, Galen Young out of Versailles, Kentucky. OK, 
Okay, and the course is clear and the Chevrolet is ready to go. Hey, a good hook for Galen Young and the Renegade. A good, strong hook for Galen Young. Two twenty nine point eight eight for Galen Young and the Renegade. Next up will be Roger Crawford and the Bandit. Well, here's Roger Crawford's Bandit now out of Patalaska, Patalska, I should say, Ohio. Patalska, Ohio. As he comes in there today, Roger Crawford. On deck, Buddy Gene. And in the hole will be Gerald Ammon out of Pocahontas, Illinois with a Southern Bell. And we are right now just about halfway through the class, folks, as Crawford gets ready to pull here this afternoon. Just about halfway through. All right, let's go. So, the bandit, Roger Crawford, just a little bit short here this afternoon of getting that baby up in the top five. On deck, Buddy Gene now. He'll be up next out of uh, Fern Creek in Louisville area. Louisville, Kentucky. He'll be up next. Point two 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 oh nine point two two for Roger Crawford and the bandit. Well, Buddy Gene is fired up now, and he'll bring his nightlife performance Chevrolet to the starting line. The Chevrolet out of Fern Creek, Kentucky. We'll be up next. Well, Buddy Gene's been pulling for a long time. He started out in super st stock trucks years ago, moved to super stock, now up into the modified ranks. And he owns a company called Nightlife Performance. And a uh, high performance uh, area, he builds motors and stuff uh, for race cars and drag racing, street motors. And he does a little bit of everything here. So on the line we go with Buddy Gene and his Nightlife Chevrolet. Well, we need a tow tractor as he has broke right off the starting line. So we will take him right on out of here. Evidently got a part of the rear end, a U-joint area, and she quit pulling on the rear end. 
Well, let's give Buddy Gene a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Buddy Gene and the Nightlife Chevy with problems. As we The 7.14. 77.14, the official distance for Buddy Gene. To come over and see your party here at the announcer stand. Brian Ballard and Damon Smith, you need to meet your party over here by the announcer stand, please. All right, here's Gerald Ammon now from Pocahontas, Illinois, on the line. And we continue to get the Chevrolet of Buddy Jean here off the track. He's been a farmer winner here and makes a nice run, but comes up just a little bit short. But he made a real strong run here this afternoon. Two two five point nine eight for Gerald Amon. one for Robert Jackson. Virginia Pullen, Bobby Minnick, and a couple others. And here we go now with the Three Bears pulling team and Scott Smith at the wheel this afternoon of that Chevrolet. So on the line we go now here with the Three Bears pulling team. And let's see what happens now. Two trucks out at this time, and we sure like to get a couple more, I'll tell you, for the pull-off here this afternoon. Like to get us a Ford up in there, maybe, even the Intimidator of Lem Friede sitting over there. He's got a darn good chance. That's a good running Ford also. So, man, I'll tell you, it's not over yet until the fat lady sings. So we got a little bit of time yet here to go with more pulling action and 6,200-pound four-wheel drive trucks. That front end let go, folks. He had one whale of a shot, and the front end let go. He'd have easily been in the sand with that truck, and it just let him down. Hey, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Scott Smith, he had a run and a half going. 
I'm telling you, he was cooking. And front, right front axle appears, just quit pulling real fast. 26.20 for Robert, should I say Scott Smith, and the three bears. Well, here's risky business now, Carl Staples. He comes to us out of North Carolina. And the Shars, Shawboro, North Carolina area with risky business. This guy's been pulling for a lot of years, folks. On the old TNT circuit years ago, run up the U.S. Hot Rod on the uh, national circuit. He, you name it, he's pulled it. And here he comes right now with risky business. Carl Staples out of Shawboro, North Carolina, the risky business. Chevrolet uh, squaring up on the sled now. Pulled the tension too. And it looks like the course is clear. We're ready to go. Well, that's a good looking, gorgeous truck here, folks. The Gibbons Ag Service. Risky business. Carl Staples. Big old Jerry Yankee motor under the hood there. Out of uh, San Antonio, Texas. That'd be way up under the 700 cubic inch mark, no doubt about it. For Carl Staples Chevrolet. Well, up next will be at the lone Ford left in the class here this afternoon. The lone Ford in the class. Here's the distance for Carl Staples in Risky Business. 225.58. 225.58. For Carl Staples and Risky Business. Here's the bandit, Roger Crawford. Hey, good run. Strong shot for the bandit. And I don't know, it's going to be close. I'll be real close. I don't know. We'll find out how far he went. How about it, folks? Let's give him a nice round of applause. What do you say, the bandit? And Roger Crawford out of Ohio with the bandit. E.97, 230.97 for Roger Crawford and the Bandit. Okay, Lim Friede out of Springfield, Missouri in the Intimidator. Ford fans, here's your last chance right here. Let's hear it, Ford fans. Okay, the course is clear. Here comes the Intimidator Ford with Lim
Well, obviously a tough break for the Intimidator, Ford. We'll get the word from Butch as to what possibly may have went wrong there about the mid portion of the track. Lim Friede out of Springfield, Missouri. Coming up a little bit short here. Eight one. One fifty one point eight one for Lim Friede. All right. Here we go with the last truck in the class this afternoon. It'll be Harry Owens out of Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Harry Owens trucking the hot truck here on the starting line. The Rampage Chevy coming your way. Harry Owens out of E-Town, Kentucky and Rampage. So the question is, can this Harry Owens join a group in a pull-off? Well, we're going to find out. We'd like to see him do it. Nice look at Chevy S10. Here's Harry Owens now out of E-Town, Kentucky. Well, good run for Harry Owen. And a hot truck right there. An excellent, excellent run for Harry Owen. We have the pull-off yet to come between Spellbound and the heartbeat, the hungry heartbeat of Terry Hagedorn in the pull-off here at Louisville. We have the pull-off yet to come. Okay, and the distance for Harry Owens is a 225.10. 225.10 for Harry Owens and Rampage. All right, we're ready for pull-off, folks. And let's get to find out who you think is going to win this. How many people like the Hungry Heartbeat? How many like Spellbound? All right, well, I think that kind of took care of it right there. We'll find out as we come to the starting line now with the last two trucks in the pull-off here today. The Hungry Heartbeat, Terry Hagedorn. He's the 1995 NTPA point champion up against the guy that won Louisville last year. He did well at uh, Buck. He did well at Chapel Hill. He's won uh, Bowling Green, Ohio. And so it's uh, quite a contrast, these two guys coming against each other. So let's find out who's going to win here this afternoon. Either Hungry Heartbeat Chevrolet or the Spellbound Chevrolet. That's why he stands up. Okay, and uh, again, Terry Hagedorn's uh, pull here was a 232.66. Jared Chastens was a 236. 
So uh, again, you know, you're looking at uh, four and some fractions there. So Terry will pull first, the hungry heartbeat. And then Jared Chaston. Whoa, that is one tough hook. Chastine's gonna have to put it in the sand to win this thing. No doubt about it, that is one fine hook. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it, Terry Hagedorn, good shot. And Terry has set the distance to beat here, and we'll let you know what it is. Okay, that'll bring up Jared Chastine out of Salem, Indiana with Spellbound. During his first round, he pulled uh, a little over four feet further than the Hungry Heartbeat did. Let's see if he can do it again. All right. Terry Hagedorn. And here's your distance. The distance, 231.68. 231.68 for Terry Hagedorn in the Hungry Heartbeat. Well, you spellbound fans, let's give Jared a nice round of applause. How about it as he goes to the line? So we uh, will take Jared back to the starting line there. They've been having some starter problems here. And uh, we'll pull him from the rear and get him back to the starting line. Then. Hopefully we'll try to get him going. Jared Chaston, spellbound, the Chevrolet, squaring up to the sled here. Well, can he do it or not? That's the question here. Can he win this thing or not? Here we come with the spellbound. He needs over 231, almost 232 to take the win. And here comes Jared Chaston now. The last hook in the class for the championship right here. Nuff said, into the sand, let's hear it for him. Well, it looks like he's got the engine shut down and he stepped out of the cab of the spellbound Chevrolet. Let's hear it one more time for him, Jared Chaston. <laughs> 2 39.32. 2 39.32 for Jared Chaston. 
Okay, we'll have the results in the top 10 in the 6,200 pound four wheel drive modified trucks. And then we'll join uh, Butch Krieger down track side with the trophy presentations to the top three. We'll take a look at the uh, positions 10 down to fourth. Harry Owens in Rampage finishes up at 10th. Carl Staples finishing up at 9th with Risky Business. Eighth place went to Gerald Amon with the Southern Bell. Seventh place going out to Scott Smith and the Three Bears. Finishing up at 6th, Gary Sellen and Red Hot. Fifth place went out to Dan Savage and Hardcore. And fourth place to Galen Young and the Renegade. And the top three finishers will be honored down on the track side with Butch Krieger here in just a few moments. Remember fans, on your way out, be sure to pick up your copy of the videotape action of the 1996 tractor pulls. They're only $35 each and even a better value. Any three videos is $90 and includes all the classes in that session. All six videotapes, including the special thriller video, only $135, so that's even a better value. Stop by the sales desk yes. located in the front of the Coliseum. Let's go down to Butch Krieger. Thanks, Scott. Uh, Frank, I should say. Well, Jared, nice run. Uh, Makes two years in a row. What a uh, happy time for you. Oh, I tell you what, we're just elated. Um, I've been working real hard the last couple of weeks, and I tell you what, if it wasn't from Tom Tremoyan and the guys back at the shop and Dad and all the rest of the crew, we wouldn't have been here because I didn't have anything getting it ready. Um, this is four times now in three years that Tommy has had engines up here, so I think that kind of speaks for itself. Um, the whole crew did good. I want to thank Zeneca and for the selection committee and everything for feeling fit to have us back and my wife and everybody else's for sticking to me. She drug around all summer long all over the United States, pregnant. And now the baby's here and we're dragging him along. So everybody just deserves a good round of applause. And good. And you want to thank Charlie Dutton too, don't you? Yeah, Charlie Dutton. We blew, this, we blew our starter up back in the pits trying to get it warmed up. And Charlie Dutton out of, was very generous and gave us another one to try to get it started up. Got it started up again, got it warmed up. It kicked it off again, hit wall go. And we had to pull start to get it started. I was beginning to wonder for a second. But... I'll tell you what, it just goes to speak of how the competitiveness of the competitors is. I mean, and sportsman like competition. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Chastine, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Jared, the winner here this afternoon. And we want to thank our uh, representative from Zeniga Ag Products, Jeff Smithson. He's our big representative there. We want to thank him for trophy presentation. Terry, nice shot. Thank you. Did an excellent job. Just a little bit short today, but uh, you sure? I'm very impressed with your truck. Well, we came down here in 91 and uh, ran, and we didn't have but little motor, so we decided we'd come back this year. guess we're going to come back next year with a 750. Well, I'll tell you what, that 1995 NTPA points champion, that says it all right there. Well, we had a pretty good season, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for having us down, and we really appreciate being here, uh, Zeneca and all the rest of the gang. Good enough, Terry. That's all that needs to be said. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Terry Hagedorn. Excellent run. And last but not least here, we want to get our third place man, Roger Crawford, but Jeff Smithson once again, presenting the trophy, representing in Zenigag Products. Well, you got a little break today, and it worked out for you. Yeah, I wonder what happened, and the chain was underneath the sled, and uh, luckily these guys were on top of it, and they found it, and so I hooked again. So, but I'm happy third, because these are the best trucks in the country, and I'd just like to thank Seneca, and all the people involved for putting this on, because this is a super show. You and this is great. Well, you're right about having the best here. Congratulations, Roger, and uh, we'll see you somewhere down the road this summer. Okay, yeah, and I'd like to thank uh, Wilma and Carl Keller. So I'm real happy to end up here where I'm at. So. All right, thank you. Roger Crawford, folks, from out of Ohio. He's third here this afternoon and did a real fine job with the Bandit Chevrolet. We'd like everybody please to clear the arena. Everybody please to clear the arena so they can get it ready for the next session, the championship tonight.